don't seem to have taken a dislike to you, my dear. I trust you're unharmed. More or less. I see, on your shoulder, a scratch. Perhaps we should send for the new surgeon. He refused the position. He talked with him? Only a few words. Pity on a skin so smooth. I've ruined the only decent dress I have. There's thread and needle in the ship's store. I'm sure material of some kind can be found. Don't I owe you too much already? Yes. And I think it's time we talked of payment. You're not going to be alarmed, are you? Violence is foreign to my nature, but you have enjoyed a favored position on board ship. A private cabin, special privileges, special food. Either these pleasant conditions continue, or you return below with the other women. And I hesitate to think what will happen to you, feeling as they do. You leave me little choice. You're very wise. Very lovely. But I think you'll find me not unappreciative. I'm sure. But in a way, this is a pity. How? I shall have to destroy those letters I intended to send from Rio. And write others in their place. Letters to whom? Lord Cannon. Sellingham's son? I thought I told you. Jack and I were friends in London. He has the reputation of a rake. I found him quite constant. I've written such glowing accounts of your kindness and chivalry. Why change them? Jack made me promise to tell him exactly what went on aboard the Charlotte. I suppose it was because of his sister, your wife, Helen. Now, with your permission, sir, I'll leave. 